What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got our once in a month, every month update to the Creation Club. Again, they literally just don't update this thing anymore. I, I don't even know why they're still updating it um, at this point, but you guys still love the videos, so I'm going to keep making them. I don't even know. There's, like, there's just that one bloke at Bethesda who is sitting in a chair, playing with his cock in one hand and updating the Creation Club with the other hand and does it once every month like I don't even know why it, is there too much of a point to do this anymore I don't know I guess it's kind of cool they're still looking at Fallout 4 but to be honest I don't know if we're going to be ever getting an update to the creation club I might make a separate video on that eventually maybe that's next month's video who knows but we've got another creation club update to be going over with you guys um I still don't know if I'm going to do a schedule update because it looks like this will be the permanent schedule now which really does suck but again, that might be, an, again, another separate video. But I guess without further ado, let's get straight into this month's Creation Club update. Okay, so here we are on the Creation Club store. We've got the Nuka Cola Addict Bundle for 600 down to 450. It says for limited time only, this bundle includes five creations, including the Nuka Cola Collector's Workshop, the uh, Graphic T shirt pack, the Armor Paint Job, Nuka Cola Cherry. And the Pip Boy paint job, Nuka Cola and Nuka Cola Quantum, together are worth 800 credits. But again, obviously, let's go back because if it is a bundle, it is 600 because it's 25% off, it's 450. So yeah, this one's been on here quite a fair bit. Um, again, that's just who cares. Um, but the player settlement thing, player home, is actually really cool. And again, the shirts are kind of cool as well, if I'm being completely honest. And I don't know, if you want to have Nuka Cola armor, that's all up to you. We got the 50% off a settlement ambush kit, tired of being taken unaware by the Commonwealth deadliest foes. Now you can turn the tables with the settlement ambush kit by setting up uh, specific radio beacons or bait. At your settlements, you can lure enemies in and have your automated defenses cut them into ribbons. And best of all, you can watch the action unfold remotely, utilizing a brand new security camera system. Again, 900 down to 450. This one's pretty cool. It's basically just like Call of Duty Zombies. If any of you have ever played that, essentially for the Call of Duty Zombies, basically it's like a wave of zombies will come at you and try and kill you. You guys know the rest. It's basically the same thing, but in Fallout. So it's, of course, pretty cool. Again, it is uh, kind of half price at the moment, which is really nice. If you're interested in Call of Duty Zombies, I'd highly recommend getting this for your Fallout 4 settlement. And plus it adds a bunch of cool things as well. We got the heavy incinerator 400 down to 250 percent uh, off. Developed for the Enclave's Hellfire Troopers and claimed by the Forge. The heavy incinerator is perfect for any pyrodynamic, looking for a little extra range and to inflict massive damage. This heavy duty flame launcher lobs fireballs with reckless abandon, scorching hell and earth along the way. So yeah, it's it's pretty cool. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I really do rate this one. Again, I think I played it. A little bit it's just watching the footage of it though like it's just like a flamethrower like it's it's pretty cool and you can shoot fireballs out of a big ass dildo gun is what that looks like so yeah it's pretty groovy it's pretty cool i don't mind it at all the hellfire power armor is here now 40 percent off 500 down to 300 big beautiful and utterly terrifying the ultra protective hellfire power armor is the perfect way to bring the fight to the enemy and end it quickly and you don't really remember exactly a whole lot from this one i think it's just a basic one i don't know if it's got like a quest or really anything too big attached to it but yeah it's there and it's uh pretty cool that they've added that we got the trans dog and dog bundle now 700 down 350 for limited time only this bundle includes four creations including the trans dog Refire, golden retriever boxer great dane and together are worth 900 so yeah you've got the three dogs here which are pretty cool the trans dogrifier, essentially what you can do is actually give it to dog meat. Um, and basically he can change into any breed of dog. For example, here he is a black German shepherd now or something. I don't know. I wonder if he can say the N-word now because he is a black German shepherd. That's what I really wonder. What I also wonder is, when a dog sees a cop with a police dog, does the dog go, holy shit, it's a cop? That is a conspiracy theory I have. But yeah, we got black dog meat right here straight out of the hood <laughs> he's there three other dogs too again the boxer golden retriever and great dane so it's pretty cool 700 down to 350 transdogrify yeah it's pretty cool as well they've added that 
We got the free paint jobs now. We got the gunners, which I'll get that. And we, of course, do have um, the armor paint job, which is also for the gunners. So again, if you're on the PS4, do not download these. It can basically give you the zero kilobyte glitch, which is an absolute pain in the ass. Essentially what the zero kilobyte glitch is, for those of you who don't know it, it's basically this glitch that comes into your game from downloading skins off the Creation Club. It essentially says you have zero kilobytes remaining when in fact you've, of course, most likely got more. And again, there's a bunch, a couple of different ways to fix it, this and that, um, how it is caused and all that type of stuff. I'll have a full link in the description down below if you guys would like to go and check out how to fix it and how it is caused, just to learn some more stuff about it. Again, I'm actually thinking of making an updated 2022 one. I do have a PS5 version coming out very shortly which I highly recommend you guys subscribe for. Again, that is definitely coming out, but yeah, Zero Kill by Glitch is a pain in the ass. If you guys would like to go and learn more, please go and check my video out, which I'll be, of course, linking in the description down below. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest Fallout content and Fallout news. Of course, don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down below. What do you guys think of the update? Did you guys like it? Did you guys not? Of course, I would definitely really like to know your thoughts and opinions down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my sports channel, my IRL slash Lauren channel, and my gaming channel. All of them will be linked in the description down below for you guys to all go and check out. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.